Hey geeks, welcome to the next game. Let's jump right in. So unfortunately my last game um, was a win over four corners and uh, that's gonna be a lost game for this video archive because uh, it did not, the recording did not save, unfortunately. But if you take a quick look, we went into four corners and despite them uh, trying to run us into the ground, we won the game by 11 points. So now we have a home game against Morristown. So let's take a quick look here. We are at five and four, tied with Ocean City for third place. Uh, Morristown, after a slow start, has won a number in a row. Let's take a look. They have won. Yeah, they started off, you see they lost their first four games, but now they've actually won three in a row, um, albeit against uh, two against Xavier and one against Little York. Uh, in terms of their, they're a pretty balanced team. If you ever coach Morristown, they're the most coachable team. You're going to see the most significant impact of your training decisions, both good and bad, on their players. Um, but uh, let's take a quick look. So it looks like they're pretty much running everything through Caster, through Kwame, and through Carlton. So they're going inside, and they're letting Kwame shoot from the outside. So they're kind of they're, they're kind of relying on their big men, which is interesting. Okay. So let's go uh, prepare our training. I'm gonna do the usual training. We're gonna put our top five on the first team and we're gonna put the next four plus Kent, who's our best outside shooter on the second team. And in terms of what we're gonna train this side, I wanna dial up inside defense. Um, I'm, our chemistry is only at a 10, so I'm gonna keep chemistry at a three. I'm gonna see if I can try to build up some uh, free throws right now. We're gonna pull back on film study a little bit uh, just because we haven't done that yet this year and as much as I don't like doing this we're going to pull back on our conditioning a little bit as well this week too that way we can focus on on free throws I, I got to give the free throws some love in training one of these weeks so this is it okay so our chemistry stayed at a 10 <laughs> the way our recent practices have been going I guess that's a win uh, we didn't regress. We had a poor week um, overall of practice. This this team has just not um, been practicing well, unfortunately. We pulled back a little bit in agility. Xenon, Kermit, Kermit, Trent, Delmont, Omar, they all had poor weeks of practice. We reduced our ability to read the opposing defense and make offensive adjustments. We did improve our team rebounding, okay? And then uh, very little emotion, a stoic team this week. All right, so we're not going to be able to um, to push the momentum. All right. Let's set our lineup. We're going to go with the usual. Interesting that Kermit has been kind of moving up the... Our CJ has been moving up the depth chart a little bit here. Um, yeah, look at that rebounding. Wow, it looks like the team had a good week in, um, in technical drills, which is, which is good to see. Uh, how did Xenon do? Out of curiosity, is ball handling and rebounding. Otherwise, he regressed, unfortunately. Yeah, Trent shooting continues to digress. That's a bummer. Uh, I think Ronnie, Ronnie's our best scorer right now, I think. Trent's usually the best scorer on the team, but not so much anymore. <clears throat> kind of curious. Yeah, my just overall, my team outside shooting has, has really regressed. Uh, I think that's all the more reason we got to start to turn into an inside and attacking team. Uh, especially with Ronnie in there as well. He's got good, he has good agility and good finishing ability. Uh, we're going to push the tempo on these guys a little bit this game. And we're going to kind of, we're going to see what that does. You know, maybe get a lot of transition going. They can't get into their half court defense and, and um, I'm sorry, half court offense and get their big men involved. And then we're going to man these guys up. And we're also going to put some zone in there as well, too, because zone you can kind of pack in a little bit on the, uh, on the inside, <clears throat> and then we'll also have our two best guys, big guys, Kermit and CJ, down there defending the inside. I want to make sure, oh, yeah, I'm going to pull back my scroll pace. Okay, we win the tip. That's outstanding. We're at home. So we should be able to get some momentum on our side, even though we have a stoic team this week. Okay, Kermit's followed to start the game. He misses it, but that's okay. Let's see, let's see our focus, how our focus on free throw shooting did. Let's see if we can have a perfect game free throw shooting. 
That's a good start. Two for two from the line from the big guy who's not the best free throw shooter. Okay. They're doing an outside offense. Uh, they're getting it out to Moe's. He's not the best outside shooter. Oh, but we follow him. Come on, Trent. You got to think, buddy. You got to think. Don't follow one of their worst outside shooters when he's taking a 12-foot shot. Um, and Moe's can shoot free throws. Let's see. They're pro oh, they got Peter running the point and Moe's at the, at the three. That's interesting. I think what I'm going to try doing is I'm actually next time down, if they're running much man, which I wasn't paying attention if they are, I don't think Mose is going to be able to guard Ronnie on the block, so we're gonna we're gonna get it to Ronnie next next time we get the ball. Look at that, another two for two from the free throw line. That's good. I'm glad we focused on shooting free throws. So they're looking to go inside. They're going to Carlton. We got Kermit guarding him. Nice. Okay, good defense. Oh, come on, guys. We got to grab the board. We got Carlton and Kwame Caster. Those guys can rebound for Morristown. Obviously, Lancaster is the most physical team in the conference, but you play Morristown, you're, you're, you're going to be in for a physical game. Okay, good. We execute it. Um, oh, no, they must be running a zone because they had Kwame guarding him. But he did he did convert it, so that's great. Uh, let's, let's get it right back to Ronnie on an attack. Okay, they're going inside again to Bonner. And they execute the play. He misses it, and good. We got the board this time. Okay. All right. Let's get Ronnie on an attack here. Can we execute the offense? Yes. Nice job. Okay, it's a great pass. Oh, he, he can't finish it, though. That's a bummer. All right, let's see what Xenon has. Uh, we've been going inside and attacking a lot. We should should be opening up the outside shot a little bit. Let's see if we can execute. Yeah, we're setting the play. Okay, great. Yep, okay, we execute it. Nice job. And Ronnie passes it out to Xenon. Oh, man. Our outside shooting is a disappointment right now. Let's go. Let's Actually, let's go back into Kermit this time. Offensively. Dang. So that's two fouls on Trent. I think I'm going to have to call a timeout, get him out of the game. Um, I need to get some scoring in here on the outside. How's Delmont? Okay, he's got a 60 shooting and a 41 scoring. Uh, he's uh, decent agility. We're going to give him a shot at the two. You know, we've been... Then are my guys getting tired? Not really, but I'm going to give CJ a little rest. Bring Omar in to play the four. Let's see, man. Omar's offensive ability is not looking great. His defensive ability is is okay. Um, I think I'm going to man up a little bit more this time because I'm fine with Ronnie going down to guard on the block as well too. So when you run zone, pretty much your center and your power forward are going to be the only inside guarders, and then your other th your, your inside defenders. And then your other three, your point guard, shoot guard, shooting guard are going to be on the outside. And then your small forward is going to be inside or outside, depending if it's a 2-3 or 3-2. Which right now the computer's calling that for you uh, based on tendencies of the opposing team and how much film you've watched. Uh, there's, a whole, there's all kinds of logic driving that. In future editions of the game, we're going to allow you to actually get in there and manage if you're calling a 2-3 zone, a 3-2 zone. We're going to introduce a 2-1-2 zone and maybe a few other things with that as well. So let's see, uh, let's see what we do here. Okay, blocking foul, great. Got the ball. So they got three fouls right now. It's been a pretty clean game. They have three, we have two. Unfortunately, our starting shooting guard has both of those, so he's in foul trouble. Okay, great. Uh, Xenon hit, hit the point, hit the basket. Let's, uh, let's see what the kid has. Let's give him a shot to take a, take a, let's give him a chance to take a shot here. Oh, we didn't call it in time, so we'll have to do that next time. Who's it going into? It's going into Kermit. Oh, nice, nice. He misses the shot, but we got a foul on Kwame Caster. Mm. There goes our perfect, perfect free throw shooting game. All right, we'll see what the kid does next time we get the ball. Okay, we're pressing them, uh, but they they work their way through it. Uh, they don't bust it, so they can't get an easy basket, but they do get into their half court offense. When you run a press and you don't force a turnover. Um, the opposing team is going to have a better chance at executing their half-court offense because your guys are a little frazzled for not executing 
the press. Okay, so we're pushing a fast break. Uh, Xenon did not have the number, so he made a good decision. Enters the half court offense. Okay, we're setting up a play for Delmont. We execute it. Okay, let's see what the kids got. He takes a three. Oh, dang, 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 dang. Okay, good, uh, good offensive board by Xenon. He's gonna kick it out. Let's let's get out of this. Let's see if I got out of this in time. Again, you gotta always be coaching. You gotta be on top of this because the game the game moves fast. It moves at a regular game pace. So this is this is really replicating an authentic coaching experience. Okay, we missed another one, and they're pushing the fast break. It's Peter Gregory's got the numbers. Oh, great. Takes it to the hole. Ah, nice. Ronnie blocked it. Okay, but Bonner tracks it down. Ah, and Ronnie, he can't guard the second shot. Okay, so Ronnie stopped the fast break, but we couldn't grab the loose ball. Okay, let's execute our half-court offense. We're going inside. Ideally, it's to Kermit. No, it goes to Omar. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, I mean... Omar is going to have a difficult time scoring on Carlton Bonner. He's a he's a presence on the inside. Let's uh, let's get the ball to Zena. Actually, let's get it to Ronnie this time. I don't care if he if it's an attack inside or outside with him because he's such a strong inside outside player. Uh, but let's get him the ball. Oh dang! And uh, they could be converting a three point play here. Let's see what happens. Yep, they're up by three. Okay, this is a big offensive possession. Two minutes to go. Uh, I want to get the ball in the hands of my best scorer uh, on the court right now, which is Ronnie Rozier. Okay, we execute the play. And he drives and misses it. But, okay, we got the offensive board. Nice. Okay, good, good. I think, is it, do we want to call a timeout? You know, we're going to let this group of guys continue to roll. Uh, you know, you want to be really strategic with how you use your timeouts. Okay, good. Mose is not the best. Ah, man, we can't. Uh, we got a rebound though. These guys are such such strong rebounders. <clears throat> when these guys, I say Morristown is. All right, let's see what happens. We're going with an aggressive zone defense. They're trying to get it inside to Bonner again, and he misses it. Okay, yeah, another offensive board for Morristown, and they're gonna they're gonna run the half court offense a bit more. Let's see how much time they take off the clock. 54 seconds, uh, we just committed a foul. Actually, yeah, I don't mind that foul because now we're in the bonus if we need to do it, but they ran, look at that, they just ran the clock down to 27 seconds. Oh boy, if they hit a three-pointer here, we're in trouble. They executed a play to Kevin Nelson. Oh, he draws iron and misses it, and we got the board, okay. Oh, we're pushing the fast break, okay. You're not gonna be able to call timeouts when the team pushes the fast break. Oh, Delmont misses it. He can't finish. And now we're going to have to foul. See, I'm glad we committed that earlier foul because now we're we're immediately sending them to the line. Okay, let's see what Nel Nelson's a good free throw shooter. He'll probably give them a three point lead. Yes. Timeout. Let's get our let's get our best free th uh, three point shooters in here now. We'll keep Xenon in. We're going to bring Kent in at shooting guard for his one dimensional <laughs> outside shooting. We're gonna bring Trent in at the three. Uh, we are going to bring CJ in at the five. And you know what I'm gonna do? Because Omar, yeah, I'm gonna leave Omar in there because he's a, he's a good rebounder um, and can kind of do, well, I guess he's not a good rebounder. Um, ah, and look at that, there's a, I need to figure out this bug why IQ isn't displaying for all the teams. Uh, I'm gonna keep Omar in there though. Uh, decent passer, hopefully he'll set up one of these outside guys with a good pass. Um, all right, let's, let's get an outside shot here. Trent is going to shoot. Oh, just inside the three. Oh, Trent, come on, man. You got to keep your foot on the line. And he misses it. And Trent, Trent just did not execute. Uh, just, he put his foot on the, on inside the three point line. So it wouldn't have counted anyway. And, uh, we lose this game by two points. That's disappointing. Uh, so Morristown and us, and we are both five and five. Let's see who got player of the game. I'm guessing it's Bonner. No, Peter Gregory, uh, six points and a board. Okay, and we lost a few geek points here. That is a bummer. Okay, let's go to the locker room. Take a quick look at how the rest of the teams did. So our chemistry dropped down to a nine. Uh, our overall scoring. This was week ten. So Lancaster beat Four Corners. South Lancaster beat Ocean City. And then Little York won their game. And then we, of course, lost. 
So if we take a look at the standings, you can see Lancaster starting to separate themselves from the rest of the conference for the one seed. And then we are in a pack of, uh, of two other teams at five and five. Okay, bummer loss. We're now five and five has not been the best season. It's been a grind. Um, but if we can, we'll get to the postseason and then let's see uh, anything can happen. Okay, thanks everybody. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.